Hi, it's Scott from Your Store Wizards, and in this video, I'm going to talk about creating and editing web pages in your BigCommerce store. BigCommerce allows you to have what they call web pages, which are informational pages. They're not products, but you can have pages uh, within your store for information such as about us, shipping information, maybe some FAQs, information on how to make a return. You can even create a contact form using the built-in web pages feature of BigCommerce. Web pages are located from your control panel. You're going to go to storefront and then web pages. It's here where you'll see a listing of all the pages that you currently have uh, in your store. Page name, the type of page that it is, whether it's a normal page or a contact form or the blog. And you'll also see whether it's visible or not. Just like you do with items, if you wanted to make a web page not visible, you simply click on it and it'll turn it to a red X. If you want to make it visible, you'll go ahead and click that red X to make it a green check mark, which means that it's now visible on your web store. So if we were going to create a new web page, here's where you would go. You'd click on create a web page, and you're going to have five different options for the type of page that you're going to be creating. So we'll talk about the first one. Contains content created using the WYSIWYG editor below. So in the web page details, you'd have your page name, pop it in there. BigCommerce is automatically going to give it a page URL based on the page name, or you can go ahead and change the URL later if you'd like to. And here's that editor. You should be familiar with this. It's just like editing a document in Microsoft Word or Google Docs. Uh, you have all the options to type in your text, add links, add some images, some videos, format your text, even view uh, raw HTML. And then down below, navigation menu options. If you wanted to include this in your navigation, you can do so there. You can select a parent page and add advanced options, maybe some stuff here for SEO purposes. The second option for a page type is whether you want to link to another website or document. So if you just wanted this page to link over to maybe a PDF document or a page that resides on a different website, you can go ahead and do that. Just type in the link address right there, and then same thing. If you want to include this as part of your navigation uh, and some advanced options down here. Third, display content syndicated from an RSS feed. So if you have a blog that's residing somewhere else and you want to pull your blog posts in, you could do that with one of these web pages. Give it a name. Big Commerce is automatically going to give it a URL, which you can then go ahead and change. Page content, use your WYSIWYG editor to put together some header text or something like that that you want to appear before your RSS feed content. And right in there is where you pop the URL for the RSS feed, which will be displayed on that page. Again, the advanced options and the navigation menu options are here for you as well. The fourth type of page, allow people to send questions and comments via a contact form. Now, BigCommerce does allow you to have contact forms, but they're very limited in what data they collect. As you can see right here, the only fields that are available in a BigCommerce contact form, email address, the question or comment, full name, company name, phone number, order number, and RMA, your return merchandise authorization number. This is why many store owners choose to use a third-party application to handle forms and contact forms, because what you're actually collecting is very limited. But if you're fine with just collecting this basic information, maybe you only want the email address, their question or comment, their full name and a company name, that's great. You can go ahead and create this form and your email response on the form will be emailed to this address that you pop in right there. And then you also have your additional options. And then the fifth and final type of page you can create can be done via just cutting and pasting raw HTML right there in the page content block that's on the web page details section. So you'd give it a page name, the URL will automatically be created, which you can then change later and then just pop in the raw HTML right there and your advanced options and navigation menu options as well. Now let's go ahead and take a look at a page that I already have set up. It's our shipping and returns page. I'm going to click on that to go ahead and edit it. So this was done in the WYSIWYG editor. 
Our page name is Shipping and Returns. There's that page URL. If I wanted to change that, I could, uh, but we're going to leave it as is. So we want to make a change to our returns policy. So we just got a call from the front office. They said, you know, hey, we're going to change our returns policy where returns can be made up to 60 days instead of 30. Scott, can you go ahead and change that on our website? Sure can. I go in. I just use my WYSIWYG editor. We're going to change that to 60. I'm going to look to see if we have any other mentions of a 30-day period in there. And I don't. Uh, I also probably want to just make a note for myself down here. So I could say policy updated. Uh, let's just say August 2022. And I'm going to highlight that. Maybe I want to make it uh, italics. I could use my command I to make that italics. And then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and click either save and exit. If I do save and exit, it's just going to bring me back here. And then let's have a look at that page that I just edited. There it is. There's my shipping and returns. Unopened items within 60 days. There it is. And look at that. There's my policy updated August of 2022. So there you have it. There's how you edit and create web pages in your big commerce store. Hope this video has helped. If you need more information, you can always visit us at yourstorewizards.com.